All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here today, and I'm really excited to be bringing you a watch from MTM Special Ops Watches. Uh, now, this is a new model from them. This is the H61 Hypertech, or the Hypertech H61, this being the GT2 model. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with MTM watches, they've been around for about 25 years in production. MTM stands for Multi-Time Machine. So most of their watches, if not all of their watches, kind of harken to this militaristic background. They make watches that actually have UV lights for detecting blood. They've got a watch with some of the brightest LED lights or something like that in it, so you can actually use the watch almost like a flashlight. I think that's a really neat deal. And then their watches are very... Uh, purpose built. They're very much built for extreme conditions. The founders of the company are ex military and they actually still have their fingers in the military community, kind of trying to figure out what people are looking for out there in extreme watches. So, what I got here in front of you, I've got the case. I wanted to just show you guys before we dig into the watch what the case is. This is almost like a Pelican style case. It is a water resistant case here. You get your instructions manual in here. Also, in this would be your warranty card. This watch does come with a three year warranty on the watch here and over here inside this package we have a couple of little wrenches that come with the watch and I'll get into why you have those wrenches here when we get the watch up here closer. So very neat watch. This is part of a watch tour started by uh, watches galore. Scott Stoffer over there got this rolling. Uh, it's been around a quite a few of the channels. I will definitely leave a link to all of their channels down below their videos. So go check them out and definitely subscribe to those channels. All right guys let's get this up closer to the camera and get a better look at it. All right, guys, here we go. So uh, before I get into all the functions and stuff of this watch, I just want to go over some of the basic specifications of what this watch is going to come with and what it has. So you're looking at a 42 millimeter case from side to side, not including these two crowns. You're looking at just under 48 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, so good size there. This has big, beefy 24 millimeter lug openings that accept this very heavy duty strap that comes on the watch. And you are looking at 12 millimeters of thickness on that case. Actually, it came in just about 12.4 for me, so just under 12 and a half millimeters of thickness. This is made of all 316L stainless steel. This one happens to be a bead blasted, kind of a matte finish. They are available in a number of different finishes. I will leave a link down below so you can find out all the finishes they're available in. So all 316L stainless construction, regardless of the finish and stuff. This is also running a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on it, and it also has a scratch resistance coating on it. So very cool. Another thing I want to definitely tell you about is the movement inside of this watch. This is running a Swiss movement, a Swiss quartz movement. It's a three-hand uh, three movement with a GMT function just there under the minute hand. I'll, I'll move the hands here in a minute so you can see it, but that's a GMT function there. And you also get a date function with this GMT watch here. So let me go ahead and undo the crown here, this top crown. Now this is going to be for your timing functions, the top one. Go ahead and undo it and I'll show you some of the functions on this watch here. Go ahead and get that thing to stop there at 12 o'clock. Pull it out. Now I'll go ahead and change the time here and as you guys see the time rolling around, you'll watch that little tiny GMT hand there between 7 and 8 moving around. So it's very cool. Keeps keeps movement with the, the handset. Now if I push it back in and get the movement running again, I went a little too far there, but if I go up, now watch over there at three o'clock, you'll see your date window change. And when you turn this dial or this uh, crown down, you can actually change that 24 hour hand. So you can have that independently settable. So very nice function there, very nicely done. So screw down crown, very solid uh, function and stuff like that on this crown and the movement here. Screw down crown, screw down case back, which gives this watch 100 meters of water resistance, okay? So showing you some other functions, this I think is really neat besides just the GMT function, is you have a, a bi-directional internal bezel here that spins like this either way with this second crown down here. So you can set that in one position, say you want to keep track of timing something, and you can also use this other bezel down here, I mean the, the other, uh, excuse me, the standard bezel, the uh, regular external bezel, to set time. So you can keep track of a, a timed event of a certain amount of time, or if you have something happening here, something happening here, you can keep track of that. Uh, you know, you're cooking something on the grill and you got something in the oven at the same time. It's kind of neat. Or for military purposes, obviously, if you've got some action going down and then you need to extract or something like that, you've got these two different time settings you can keep track of. So 
They are using Super Loom on the hands of this watch. The only place they have the Super Luminova is on the hour hand, the minute hand, and on the tip of that second hand. There's no indicators on the dial, and also the uh, GMT hand has no loom, as you guys can see. Speaking of the dial, as you guys can see, you've used, you have your standard Arabic 1 through 12 track there, and you also have your 24-hour internal track there for that GMT hand function. Very nice precision, as you guys can see, it, it hits really good on the indices, even though this thing moves around like that. Once you get it set right at that 12 o'clock, uh, the, the second hand really hits the indices well. This is a brass dial on this watch. The indices appear to be painted on, uh, but it is stamped. It has this texture in it that is, appears to be pressed into the dial. It may be machine finished, but it's done very, very beautifully. And it's just a, it's an absolutely stunning dial. Let me see if I can bring it in here close enough to show you guys, yeah. I mean, look at that. It's got, it's got great texturing to it. It's thick, very nicely done. And as you guys can see, the, the, uh, the numbers are actually raised down there on the bottom portion. You have that sword down there at the six o'clock position. You can see the 330 feet and the 100 meters of water resistance. So beautiful watch here. What we'll do here in just a second, guys, is we will pause this, get this on my wrist, and we will get a loom shot of it. Let me show you guys the strap that comes on this watch and the buckle and stuff like that. It's very nice. <clears throat> so they call this, I think this is a ballistic nylon strap here. It has the MTM logo there stitched into it. Very, very heavy duty. Double thickness down here at the bottom, as you guys can see. Uh, square cut holes, which are very nice. And show you the hardware on this. It has this very thick buckle here and with those tools that came in the box those are how you're going to manipulate uh or get take apart this strap you're, you're going to use those at the buckle here and you also use these at the case as instead of having uh, standard spring bars these have these bolts through here on the case very industrial squared off style case as you guys can see here very nicely done and go ahead and flip it over and i'll show you a little bit more about the strap very nice the way it's done you guys can see instead of these spring bars it has these big bolts all the way through that thread into each other. And this strap is not gonna come off the watch unless you actually take this, this, uh, this bar out of here to remove it. It's meant to stay on there. Now I think this is a prototype, so I'm not exactly sure what the standard models are gonna look like when they come out, but you've got that, that knife or that sword there on the back and the combat tactical timepiece. But uh, I think for the H61, they'll actually have the name there on the back of the watch in the production runs. So very nice watch, guys. Uh, now over at the website, these are available. You can do pretty much anything you want as far as the color configurations, the dial configuration, the case styling, the straps. There's tons and tons. I don't really know the exact number, guys, but I know that just in the dial, there's like seven different dial colors you can do. You combine those with, you know, seven or eight different case configurations and 15 or 20 different straps, and you can really come up with a different, really, really cool uh, you know, watch for yourself. So let's go ahead and pause this and get this watch on the wrist and then we'll go out with a loom shot. All right, guys, so I have a seven inch wrist and 42 millimeter tends to be a real sweet spot for me. This running this quartz movement, this is a lightweight watch. It doesn't weigh a whole lot on the wrist. Uh, it sits well at the 12 and a half uh, millimeter thickness and it just, it, it overall feels really, really good on the wrist. The crowns, the double crowns don't get in the way. They're positioned just right as far as that goes. So the strap feels extremely, extremely comfortable on the wrist. I mean, it's super, super comfortable. And uh, that big buckle there doing its job, nothing digging in, nothing sharp or anything like that that I can tell. So 42 millimeters feeling good. Let's go ahead and dim the lights and get the loom shot of this watch. All right, guys, so this is Swiss, uh, you know, Super Luminova. So I don't think this is gonna really, really be too surprising to you. It's, it's pretty impressive stuff, it really is. Uh, yeah, look at that glow. I mean, that's that's pretty bright. And it glows all night long. It's a really good, bright loom. I do wish, I, I do wish they maybe had some indicators on the, the dial, you know, for that GMT function, uh, and possibly maybe a few indicators for the 12, uh, you know, 3, 6, 9, and 12 positions or something like that. But the watch is done really well, and I can't really fault anything like that, so... Beautiful watch, guys. Check it out. I'll leave a link down below to where you guys can pick one of these up. I know at the website they say between $250 and $350 as far as the price goes. I'm sure that is depending on how you get them with the options you get them with, if you get multiple straps or anything like that. So go ahead and go check them out. Like I said, it's in the description down below. All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right. Thanks, guys.